Mm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Laura Mora. And I'm Bill Bellamy. Hey. Why'd you say it like that? Uh, I feel like I need to be on some sexy stuff in here. I'm like in here with all these beautiful women and they drunk already. Whoa, that's what I'm saying. Like I just had a sip. Y'all done jumped out on your boy. And take nah, two shots. Bill, <laughs> Bill can drink though. I seen I him can. in Brooklyn and the grill and he was, I kept giving him shots. Yo, I, bought the, I bought the whole bottle she over to him. She was trying to wear me out. I was like, yo, is she working for the feds? Like, yo, what's <laughs> going on? She was like, Bill, I was one like, more. you know you did it. She, but she do it cute. Like, Bill, one more. <laughs> one more bell. Stop playing. You had plantains. But it wasn't just you, had plantains. you know, like, you know, that's we my went spot. To the, we went to the Caribbean yes, spot. The and you know, you get the jerk chicken, the rice and peas, and, and the, the plantains. Plantain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And delicious. then look, we always as a matter of fact, I think Donnell got so drunk that night that um he actually afterward came to my house and made eggs but there was not really a lot of things to put in it so he took some fried rice that was left over and put them in the eggs wait yeah, what that's how egg fried rice yeah egg fried rice, rice. <laughs> Yeah, right. that sounded like. I'm not gonna lie, it tasted all right, and the rice was kind of crunchy because mm. you know it was that sounds delicious. Yeah. Like pegao, yeah. we us Puerto Ricans call that pegao. Oh, so pegao? that's a real meal. Yes, when con. the rice is like the edge really? of the rice is burnt. Let's. Is it still good? You, it's, <laughs> it's a go. So it's delicious. Yeah. Like what? all the flavor is in that rice. In that, in that rice. You know when you cook the pot of rice, we you know we bottom. make it in the old looking pot. The yeah, the it's the. Yeah, the like, Emusa pots. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like the first pot that was ever created by the kid. Yeah, and it's burnt. You can't <laughs> yes. get the burnt off. It's, it's not burnt. 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 So the rice is not burnt. What they do is no, you the pot. cook it and the pot, but not but these pots. You know, pots. when you cook a rice, you're not supposed to, you know, turn all the rice. They're supposed to be like a, like a crust. crust, a layer of rice to have a good rice, you know? Ooh. Okay. Well, when, are you when you finish so the rice, good. the middle part, you, you get, get to, to the bag out, the, mm-hmm. the part that's stuck to the, pan, to the pot. Can you cook? Film? Yeah, it's delicious. You can. Yeah, I what's learned, your dish? I learned it's how to cook delicious. during COVID because it was just like. Oh, so you just <laughs> recently you learned. Like, like, yeah, I'm like yeah. for real though, like got like serious, like going online, going on the Food Network, how to make shrimp, how to make um jerk chicken, how to make how to be um, a chef. Yeah, like you know, do uh, I I like doing stuff with like vegetables, like uh, Brussels sprouts and mm-hmm. cauliflower and stuff like that. Like I try, I mostly eat healthy, but during COVID, like you gotta eat. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm like, I can't just eat yeah, regular chicken right. every day. Let's flip this. We're yeah. going to do salmon. Then we're going to do beef. Then we're going to wait. Yeah, I have fun. Oh, that's good. I so made but, it fun. So it was, before that, what were you doing? Like when it comes I to- I was just doing mostly easy stuff like grilled chicken, hot dogs, hamburgers. But during COVID, it was just like in California, there was no indoor dining and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, maybe I could just learn some stuff. And then I learned like one meal. I went and got all the ingredients. Then I was like, yo, this is kind of fly. Mm-hmm. And so I said, let That's me see if I can hard. make something else. <laughs> and then I just kept building my catalog of things that I know how to cook. So actually, I like cooking now. That's mm. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Out of necessity. Right. It was no, you had no choice. What other things did you learn during the pandemic? Uh, During the pandemic that we really need each other, like people, like, like Mm -hmm. hugs and what's Mm -hmm. up and calling and seeing people eye contact. Like when you at your house, I don't care how nice your house is. Like that house is a jail. Like, I was like, yo, I got to get out of here. Some people are. walk down the hill. Some people in the feds and some Some people in Rikers. Yeah, I was at the feds. Yeah, he was in the feds. But it was still a fence. (laughs) (laughs) Even when you're at the feds, you see the feds. You know, it's just a little further out. I feel like, though, in LA, like when places like that, you could have still went like hiking and did things like that. Did all of that. That, Mm -hmm. That was one of the things that I keep out of COVID was more walking hikes and stuff like that with your music, walking the dogs. You know, more people were doing that because you couldn't go anywhere. So my walks were longer. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you walk instead of walking, walking like 30 minutes, you walk an hour and five or something. Mm-hmm. Just keep walking. That's a beautiful and, thing. Yeah, and you clear your mind too. That like. was one of my favorite parts about living in LA. I was doing, I, we lived on a hill, so I used to hike the hill every day. That was like one of my favorite parts. And it's such a LA. clean Fun exercise, yes. especially if it's a hell. And it kept your me. Glutes, it kept my legs. Your glutes, thick. your quads. Yeah, your yeah, butt look bigger. I noticed that. Yeah, because it's hills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, you it kept I live on a hill. Right. Your driveway you is gonna get, you gonna get home, or you not? I'm not. <laughs> when, I, when I moved back from LA to the East Coast, I got really skinny. Like, or oh, I, I noticed that it was the hikes keeping my legs. Yeah, thick. and they keep your mm-hmm. legs toned, right? Yeah, or without yes. being like, oh, I got to work out for five hours. Yeah, it doesn't even really feel. I mean. 
mean, it felt like a workout when I was done and I was sweating and I needed a shower. <laughs> My favorite but is Fryman. During- is what? Fryman. Fryman. Oh, that's the place that you go you, hiking. Did you do that one? Do you like Fryman? No, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I only hiked the hill that I lived on. Oh, yeah. You very We were specific. living in the She's hill. Like, only like this hill. Yeah. <laughs> just this one here. Just this hill. This like is my hill. Activity. I found it. It's my heart and my soul. I don't know the names no, of the that I was living in a house that <laughs> we had to get up and do something. Like, it, nobody could lay around. Like, right. w- every day, you got, you got to get up and do some exercise, eat a healthy breakfast. Like Were you always healthy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I literally, honestly, when I was on MTV, I think I started, like, getting into nutrition, right? So I was like, dang, you know, what's up with nutrition? And so I started learning like healthy things to eat, um, things that were good for the body in my 20s. And I was just like, yo, man, you know, blueberries are good. I always ate strawberries Mm -hmm. and pineapples and stuff like that. I was making smoothies before Jamba Juice came around. Like (laughs) I used to make smoothies back then because I was just like, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that all the stuff I was doing had a billion antioxidants in it. Yeah, that they keep just your ass right. young. Keep you looking mm-hmm. like you still. That's why you look the way you look now. I, 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 I didn't know. That. I didn't know. But I was doing stuff like just I got lucky. I wasn't thinking. I didn't. I never ate a lot of fried food. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I always mostly ate baked food and fish and chicken and stuff like that. Always did like salads and stuff. Now I eat my, gotta have your auntie gr- uh, fried chicken. Right. You know, you get Every good now steak and, then. and stuff. Yeah, but some like good now stuff. I don't eat heavy like that. I kind of eat enough. Mm-hmm. I feel the same way. Like I, I remember I used to want to eat three big pieces of chicken and macaroni and cheese. Now it's like, I can't even imagine. Like, yeah, where it am makes I me feel that? weird if I try yeah. to eat till I'm full. You're not it, supposed to do that, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, like I a Thanksgiving. Remember when we used to be like, yeah, we'll get another one. Don't I eat that stuff in the you in a food coma, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. What they call it, but that's mm-hmm. not really the right thing. Yeah. You're supposed to eat until you're full, and you're supposed to wait like half an hour when you're eating yeah. and eat yeah, slowly eat slow. so you get full. Yes, you're supposed to eat slow. I'm not gonna lie, Thanksgiving, I've realized like, you know how everybody's so hype food and I get there. By the time it's on, I'm like, damn, I ain't even eat yet. And I also don't really love turkey. Like, yeah, I know like, that's I'm like a Thanksgiving crazy. thing. I've never been like a turkey fan. Very few people get turkey right because mm-hmm. it's usually dry in yeah. that section. And yeah. I always get the dry section. Mm-hmm. Everybody be like, this is juicy. And then when I get my piece, it be, it'd dry. be dry. No, my turkey is be juicy as hell because I make too. sure I inject them in every yeah, single like part, grandma. especially the bread. Yeah. 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 I inject it. Like, I inject it while it's cooking. And the seasonings up underneath the skin. So while it's cooking, I inject I take the juice and in, and keep, keep injecting it yeah is that the same thing people used to get pregnant by ballers like yeah, yeah. yeah. Inject- well, I <laughs> use actual, they have actual like injectors like yeah. with the needle mm-hmm. so you just while it's cooking you take the yeah. juice yeah. and you inject yeah. it in the yeah. thighs and, and you know the I, bread when I'm cooking a turkey I just take the spoon and you know the, like the grease that came went in the pan with and I things. put it all over mm-hmm. you gotta all inject over, it Stephanie. all over you yeah. get the spoon no, I really and, when I, and she dumped that shit when I start with a turkey I stop Stab it, man. Stab it. You gotta, you gotta stab it too. Hey. Yeah, I stab it, and then every hey. stab, I put a piece of garlic in every stab, yeah. Yeah. and yeah, then I go under the skin and put, I put butter, the you put butter, the I put butter, I put matte mm-hmm. butter all over the turkey, ah. and then put the seasoning under the skin mm-hmm. and in the Ooh, holes. Yep. Yeah. And then you leave it for like two days, and then you cook and it. Listen, ain't no drier mm-hmm. turkey than smoked turkey. When they smoke it and put it in that that that, I don't, I think never I, had I don't really turkey. like turkey. Smoke? That's yeah. I don't really like duck that much either. You would love my turkey. Like duck that much. I make a good ass. I have, and I don't really it's like too dry for me. Yeah, G if I'm gonna do all that. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. turkey. Every time my cousins or people I know do fried turkey, they burn their house up. <laughs> I think, I think you ain't supposed to dump it. You're supposed it. to do that think, outside on a porch with the big old, it very um, slow. you know, you have to have like the big. But I know y'all all have air fryers, right? Yes. yes. That's the thing. I, got air I love my air fryer. fryer. I ain't got it. I, I, I keep saying I'm going to get, but I don't eat meat yeah, anymore. Yeah, but but you I want it for the, the fried. vegetables. Yeah, the vegetables. Oh, everything in the air fryer. I miss some cookies in the air fryer the other day. You're going to be amazed at how much you want to cook. I heated up some cookies that I got from the mall. I put them in the air fryer. I just put them in the air fryer. And it boom. And they were so and good. They, they were soft and crispy and moist and juicy. Yeah, yeah. I feel like and everything comes out delicious from the air fryer. Okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like Bill Bellamy has gotten us off track of what lip service is about. Now okay. we're talking about, we're talking about, talking about oh, cooking turkey. I mean, I'm just saying, there's a lot of ladies in here. What do you cook hungry. at the... <laughs> y'all was hungry. Like, what's what's what do you like to eat after, like, you know, you and your wife went in? Uh, do you eat right after? Do you get hungry after? 
Oh, you go to if sleep. It's a oh, do you go to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> you want a but, sandwich? No, no. Jackie sandwich. Can you make me ham sandwich? No. Do you make me turkey sandwich? Are you full from, from just the whole situation already? Sex, sex is sex is to me. Sex is a uh, it's a couple things. Sex is connection. Mm -hmm. It's a workout. <laughs> and it's a vibe. Mm -hmm. It just depends on like where you at with it. Like sometimes it could just be physical. Like you know you stressed or whatever. You just work out. That's when you eat a ham sandwich. You know you need something <laughs> to eat. After that. You don't burn sandwich. like fifteen hundred calories. <laughs> but sometimes yeah. it could be very you know sexual and sensual mm -hmm. and such. And so now you take a nap. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Or you be yeah. like, man, I killed that. Can I have a glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> 1,500 calories during sex? That's insane. That's, that's a lot of sweat. You got to get it in, though. So you, you lazy. You got to no, work out. No, that's a lot of calories. But that's let me see calories. on average how much. Hold on. Let me take a look and on see on average, average how, how many say, calories does a person average, burn during sex. An average session should probably be about 700. I think a man is going to burn more calories than a woman because it I depends. think y'all do more work. It depends usually. on how young she is and how fit she is. Because I feel like if a woman is healthy, and fit, it's 1,500 calories. It says, okay, women burn an average of 213 calories during 30 minutes, while men 207. Oh, no, no, that's during rent. Sex is 101 calories from men and just 69 from women. Ain't 69. no way. Yeah, no, no way. It's not a lot sweating. of calories. You be nah. sweating. You might be up to about You know why I be sweating? Because, like, y'all be room? taking too long sometimes. Like, I have, like. Why you be rushing? No, I, I don't rush. She got shit I'm, to do. I, listen, I could come three <laughs> times, but I'm going to make sure you get yours. Like, That's wonderful. But yeah. the only thing I don't like is that once you guys get yours, like, you know, I need you to keep going. It's over. You, you that's know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only yeah. thing I don't like about so it. So you like, say that when a, man, when a man climaxes after that, they usually can't do nothing else. Mm -hmm. Like, can you come back to back without stopping? Girl, you gotta get that guy really that has to you come. Wait, I need to know your <laughs> point. I'm, I'm very capable of that. Yeah, okay. you know some guys stay hard after I'm they helping. come, but right. but most guys I know. Yeah, say they no. stay hard, but it, it, usually yeah, they can't come gets, again right away. No, you no, gotta get oh, the you guy. Say, what do you mean, saying like let's say like I could sometimes. So sometimes I like to hold it like I hold my you get what I'm saying like when I'm about I make, you make it, switch so it because be I powerful. like I like Ooh, to climax when you're so climaxing good. because I feel like that's the best when we're both climaxing at the same time that is so you hold it in listen, and there's this one guy hard. like I held it in till he did it and when he did it you know of course like he had a condom and stuff so once he did it like he pulled out and he know, like he felt he knew I wasn't finished so he pulled out and was eating me up but that's what I'm saying you gotta yeah. so he that was, condom taste no yes he uh, did yes and nasty why you gotta just it was so much he was there that he no, could, no, like, no, hold on hold on hold on I, I'm not gonna lie that was this? amazing cause it's like I was no, but climaxing and I was and still was climaxing so you, and he right? pulled out <laughs> and grabbed me I was like whoa, whoa. so if a guy has on a condom right and then he takes it up you'll suck his dick even though it tastes like condom Yes, well, you know yes. me and big sucking eh, all the way. I ain't really. You ain't really big. Like, big no, you're gonna I get it at the beginning. Yes, I have to taste like yeah. a condom for a second, a couple seconds. Damn, yeah. Stephanie, she gets through it. After yeah. a couple yeah. seconds, I'm a trooper. That con you swallow the condom taste and I'm just it. I like a person. What is going on in here? No, and I'm a person who likes condoms. I like having sex with condoms. Right. I, I, it makes Same. me feel like Cock I'm not right. going to get pregnant. And that makes me happy. Well, so, and and I have no disease and no, no okay. baby. But if you're in a when relationship, it's a like myself, I'm not using condoms. Same. No, but I'm yeah. just saying, if, if uh, it's not a deal breaker <laughs> taking off the condom and putting it in my mouth. It's only going to taste like that for a few seconds. But I'd rather not. You I would eat that face off for and keep first, going. And then once you put the condom on. I feel like that's exactly what she was looking for. The guy who was going to come and then eat her pussy. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah, it was. I. I mean, that's, that's never. And he did it at the perfect. Like his yeah. timing. It was like his timing. Yo, that's, 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 and that's what that I, is that. If a guy does that for a woman, he he really cares. And you about know what he does. Well, you know what he used to do because it ain't happening no more. 
Maybe we're going to get this again. All the time. Maybe. But, but I feel like that's when you want to continue the more sex. Like, he came, so he's going to eat my pussy now, so he could... Is That is going to turn him on. His dick mm-hmm. is going to nah, get hard again. And we back at Have it. we back at This it. guy that's a doesn't continuing stop. Of the vibe. You, got the, you see that? That's an exchange yeah. of the vibe. vibe. No, mm-hmm. and like you... Gigi I like and I were talking about this in my house earlier. Uh, sex is about flow. Like, wherever it flows to, you know what right. I mean? It's the mm-hmm. best. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, not, I, I not that. forcing oh do this do that no, no, no. May, like what? what's the next move no a good flow mm-hmm. is what makes see how nice she sense. moving mm-hmm. to me sex is like the dance mm-hmm. right yeah. if you're a dancer and your partner is a dancer when you're dancing you don't have to think about the moves mm-hmm. right? the moves you know take leading. you where you go right and that's that's energy too like it's yes. connection it's energy vibe yeah, for sure. all of that makes it in, 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 in like a 3D experience mm-hmm. where it's not like mm-hmm. just a physical it's actually spiritual that's mm-hmm. how I feel can like I get a little sex snaps? is a flow oh. listen, 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 I just <laughs> I that's how you get pregnant. That's how you get yeah. pregnant, Stephanie. You know, and you I'm a person energy. who likes condoms, but if the flow is flowing, I'm Ooh, pregnant now. Yeah, yeah, I'm pregnant, pregnant now. Yeah. He just, I just have flashbacks from AJ Johnson dancing experience, like the threesome, where she said it was like they were dancing, like, like no, how they were. She made it sound really she sensual. She said the motion, she, like. She said that she had an experience with two men, and it was like a dance. They they would, you know. Like twirl me around. Twirl yeah. Yeah. each other, because, and it was like a perfect dance dance where everyone was the leader and everyone, everyone was, was the follower. Yeah. 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 That's probably, she made you know, she it, probably nice. it probably, it was, the energy was right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Could, that's what she said. That that's, could probably get exactly crazy, but if they all mm-hmm. moving and, and it's probably a great fantasy for her because all the attention's on her. So exactly. that's probably a that's sexy fantasy. Oh, yeah, it was her, her 50th birthday. Mm-hmm. People said. went crazy yeah. over the mouth. Right, let me ask you this. Yes. So let's talk about some of your stand up. Okay. So you were talking about how, and I've said this so many times, the beginning of the relationship is the best part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you it haven't is. had a beginning in so damn long. I know. Like I do, like I do jokes based off of things that I, I've experienced like and one of the things that I thought why that joke works for people because I always thought about like when you first meet somebody it is just magical mm-hmm. like you know nobody you is good in them. it's like oh my god everything is new it's fresh nothing and no, makes you mad nothing makes you mad <laughs> you laugh a lot you know and if somebody do something wrong you go oh, baby don't trip but then after a while you just be like that's fucked up you know and <laughs> yeah, that's that's three and months later, you forget yeah. Right. Like you backyard. forget to be like <laughs> forgiving after the beginning. So I that's why I wrote the jokes about how beautiful the beginning is. That's why you do fall in love because it's it's almost perfect. Like like oh my god, they get me. <laughs> you know, and the guy's like, my boo loved me. She called me like five times. That's true. You, you know, but then like when you've been with her for a while, she called you nine times. Where you at? Where you at? Pick you in the up. bathroom, well, pick it up. Let me hear the bathroom flush. <laughs> flush the toilet. <laughs> flush the toilet. Listen, flush wash it your twice. hands. Why you never call me? Why you always FaceTime? And I got to see if you lying. I got to see your face. Oh my God. Let, I, can I tell Ooh. y'all a funny story? I want to figure out how to write this as a joke, but I think women are better at being players than men. And women know how to lie for oh, their yeah. girl. That's women, a fact. Women know how to lie better for their girl than dudes know how to lie. Let me tell you something. For they boys. One of my friends when I was younger, right, I, I had got my first apartment. And so everybody used to stay over my place all the time. We would have like go to the club. Everybody would stay at my house. So she was cheating on her boyfriend. So she had this guy come and pick her up. And so her boyfriend kept calling me like, yo, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? And I'm like, um, we, I was pretending like I was still asleep. I was like, man, call me back, man. Everybody sleep. And then I just hung up. And then he popped up at my house and she wasn't there. Right. And she didn't have a cell phone or anything. And so oh I was God. so scared the dude was going to drop her off because he was sitting on my bed looking out the window. No. Waiting for her to pull up. And so I managed to. I So look, I, her, I called her mom and I was like, you got to like find her, get in touch with her. Tell her not to come to my house. And then I knew the guy that she was with. I knew his friend. So I called his friend and I was like, call your boy and tell him. Uh, Because the guy pulled up. He left his car in the middle of the street. (sighs) He got out the car, jumped in, and left it in the middle of the street. So I was like, call your boy. 
and tell him do not drop her off here please like, do not so you right. know what's crazy because it's funny that you say that what ended up happening was they managed to get in touch with them right when they was uh coming to my house they were almost there and so she got out and got in a cab and Perfect. got dropped off and he ran down the steps and he like swung the door open the cab driver was like oh right you didn't know what was going on and next thing you know he apologizing to her wow <laughs> Listen, yeah, because you a boss, like, Angela. He was like, "I just love you so much," and I just thought uh, she was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I'm so." She made him sleep <laughs> on the floor in my living room while she, she slept in my room, and yeah, and he was apologizing, and yeah. But see, women are women. We I love, I love mm -hmm. y'all network. Women network is so gangster to me. Mm -hmm. I seen these girls do this one time, and I said, "I do could never do this right." <laughs> so these girls was partying and stuff, right? It was a bunch of us. It was a bunch of us like partying. And one of the girls had that jealous boyfriend. And he's like, where you at? What you doing? Boom, boom, boom. Her girl was like, she good. She good. We turned up, but we ain't tripping. Why you keep calling her? <laughs> and so then he kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. And so the one girl said, she's at home. <laughs> he said, well, I want to hear the dog. If you at home, hear the dog. And her girl's like, Rawr! <laughs> 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 that sounds like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, is that is that Pookie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen no shit like that that's in my crazy. life. I said I gotta figure out how to put that in a movie. Because uh -huh. that's getting Man. like in in second. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? We need a 2023 20, how to be a player, player. with women. I was mm -hmm. about to say oh, that. Yes. women. Y'all gonna be the players? Yeah, I think the women need to be play the players. That's yes. the point. That's the that's point. What I just said. Because but, things, but I feel like, be like, like y'all be thinking like y'all playing women, but at the end of the day, like you said, let they me be tell playing you what this kind of shit we do. Like, listen, if you know you're about to go on vacation with a dude, we will take pictures ahead of time and then be like, okay, y'all, everybody gonna post this picture like we on a trip. Right. Mm -hmm. I'ma text you when it's time, and you can't post anything else, but act like we on vacation. And then you'll post those pictures. Like when I tell women's, you, the, so women, man, wow. women are organized. Women like do a chick play. Chick will call you and be like. Have a nice weekend, and it's Tuesday. Like, bitch, where you going? Hey, <laughs> she on Tuesday. They tell you have a nice weekend. She already going somewhere with yeah. her dude or whatever. She calling you on Tuesday. That's a lot of lead time. Not even Thursday. Okay, remember when you <laughs> came to Miami? <laughs> and when you came to Miami, and I was like, and. Yeah, I'm with you, okay? So if anything, I need you to post, like, post pictures you with and put. Me. Remember when you came to Miami? Oh. And I found a way to get out. I was like, and. Post like you with me in Miami with Laura. <laughs> and she had you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And dudes, I listen, I always got never, your back. It dudes worked. could never do the stuff that y'all do. You know like, why? Because y'all don't we give each other a heads I don't up. Think we, I don't think what guys can do think. is they do shit and they don't tell their boys yeah, that they do it. That's exactly and what And so happened. then... Yeah, so then you see the the guy because we know we too slick too. We'd be like, oh, how'd you have fun with Bill? Dudes mm -hmm. always, I didn't see him. I didn't see him since last. And then mm -hmm. he's like, mm -hmm. dudes mm -hmm. always Caught do you. dumb shit like this, mm -hmm. right? I've seen this a million times. Yo, the dude will sell his girl. Yo, I'm with you. Yo, I got you. No problem. My man is on live. <laughs> And they somewhere they ain't supposed to be. <laughs> and he's supposed to be in another state. That's why uh, women are cat, men are dogs. Yeah. Cats, what they say. Pee and shit in the litter and they cover their shit. Y'all just be yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, y'all go. Yeah, that might be a good one. That's a great one. How to, be, how, how to be a but player. The women but women's version. Women would love women that and guys player. would die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we would be sick because I think what would be hilarious for men to realize just how we're not <laughs> equipped to play. See, you and you just said women are the players these days. We they don't are. Y'all had to learn. Mm -hmm. Y'all had to me. pick And I think game guys up. also don't want to believe that women cheat. Cause like women, we're like, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna investigate. Yeah. Guys be like, she went. No, when women do women do what they want to do, but they just, in my opinion, I think women are not as clumsy or just so spur the moment kind of right. like, oh, I'm gonna do something stupid. Like I think women are more calculated. How though. about mm -hmm. we're more Same. respectful towards your feelings and your emotion? How there about you go. we That's care better about care. you guys more than we yeah. do? Because we're not about you. you. And like, I don't want to hide. I, I just don't want to hurt your feelings, and I want to make sure because. I do believe you could be in a relationship and love that person, be in love. And sometimes chemistry is chemistry. Things happen. A lot of times when people cheat, it's just 
It's like you don't moment. go out saying I'm gonna cheat today. You know, I really I honestly think women some... go out when they cheat and say I'm gonna cheat. I think women <laughs> do y'all ever cheat? More. Yeah, I don't. I mean, no. Usually when women cheat, cheat it's because a guy fucked up. Not that it's revenge exactly, cheating. That's what I'm saying. Um, revenge like, cheating is the number one. We cheat for a reason. No, we cheat for a reason. Like we don't just cheat cheating. to cheat. Men <laughs> just cheat because. <laughs> And not in these days. Men just cheat because like, I mean, I could. I feel like I did my cheating in my younger relationships, and now it's like if you give me the desire that I need to fuck with somebody else, I'm just, I, I'm no, not interested I in don't you. Believe you still my are. ADD is my attention span is really short. I can't. I can only talk to about four or five people per day. So, and that's including my friends. Right. Like today, everybody's cut. I'm not talking to nobody. Yeah, I'm I don't done. really have time to cheat, but I will <laughs> you know say, when I was younger, life, it's just too much effort. Yeah. And I had time. I, did. I remember I got yeah. cut cheating one time so bad. Same. I had Three to times. just be like, all right, you got it. Yeah, right. Because exactly. right. the thing no, is, that's... like, if we get cut, we'll do, guys will be like, I don't care if you walk in, they'll try to come up with an excuse or explanation. I am not me. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> this is not, not you. Do not see me right now. Me. Shaq, you, it wasn't me. That's men for sure. But I, I agree with you. Women, when we get caught, we like, all right. You got it. You got it. You got me. Yeah, you what got me. What are you doing? You I'm hungry? I'm not going to yeah. continue your life. But no, this that's not what you, I don't you know saw why dudes him, do that, though. You saw him in the bed with him, but you didn't see that. Because when they offended, no. it's I'm more like the disrespect. Chicken. Like, I Who's seen you right? doing mm-hmm. this. Right. And so why are you going to act like you're not doing I'm watching you. I'm sitting right here and you're fucking one of somebody. My, one of my boys got... <laughs> got a, a situation that was so unbelievable I could not believe he's still alive to this day he was uh, he was supposed to be away or whatever <laughs> he's still alive he, today. I, I can't cause <laughs> it, he walked in on this in this banana story I'm not gonna say no names but it's an unbelievable story so he had just bought a house with this chick Oop. they was like they on their way or whatever they in love love supposedly mm. everything's good mm. they gonna get a dog Blah okay. blah blah. With you know, it's good. American right? dream. It's the dream. You know what you pray for. <laughs> Out of nowhere, he whatever he was supposed to be, he doubles back home, and he uh, comes up the stairs, and he knows somebody is in the house. No way. Oh shit. <sighs> yes, right. Who was so, it? So so he goes up the stairs. He's hearing things going on and what have wow. you. How crazy is it? he? Turns the corner. There's a dude in there. With his girl, with his robe on. Oh my God. Hey, if I was her, I would have played dead like I had a heart attack. Yo, <laughs> yo, wow. yo, in his house shoes. In wow. his hallway. Wow. That's just in his I can't get busy. Like, I can't get busy. busy. Like, really turning up. That's it nasty. That's, yeah. 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 That's, that's some shit. Yeah. That's trifling on his part. So, what happened? What happened? What happened? Yo, my man. I mean, they Did obviously broke shot? up and everything was right, devastating. Anybody get shot? It was, yo, but it was just like he just couldn't believe that it was really happening. The robe in the house shoes. You like this is surreal. surreal. Yeah, like like this is surreal. He said for a first couple of seconds he thought it was a movie. Like it's, it's impossible. Like where's the cameras? Yeah, like yo, yo, please tell me. Cut. Cut. First of all, I believe in crime of passion, so I would never put. Like, I'm too but scared. You, everybody did right. You look like you got a real mean temper. Very right. No, nah, nah, I'm, I'm going like straight for the no, I, I probably would have sat there like and just Madea. cried like a mud and left. Like, I, I don't. But then again, let me not say because you never what know you in that moment like what you would do. But what did he do? Like, what? They so, broke up. Like, but I'm saying, like, in that moment, yeah. what but happened? What's crazy was the Face dude timing. wasn't even like, oh, <laughs> uh, no. The dude wasn't even like, yo, my bad or whatever. He was like, yo, man, what you doing here? Oh, see that. So, I'm telling y'all, you ain't supposed to be here. I don't know. It would have sucked if he would have got his ass beat too in that nah, moment. He, he trifling. Oh my Yo, God. He trifling can't. AF for having that man's stuff on. It's one thing that you in his house fucking his right. bitch, but you got his stuff You're on. You're doing too much. It's but like, it's levels to this. That's this a little that's too the, much. Like, you got to get thrown out the window. What did his girl do? Like, was she copping the plea? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I thought she was going to Bermuda. Shit. Oh, shit. She thought he was going to the triangle and not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to get stuck in the triangle. Yeah, like, you know, sometimes things Lost happen, you know, they're very, very harsh to, to deal with. But wow. y'all just made me think of that. I was like, yo, because I remember him being so 
heartbroken because mm, it, it was like somebody that he thought would never do that you know it you, was, yeah you would never be with somebody and buy a house with them if you think right it's like why here like there's that. a million places in the world to be nasty now tell the truth did he try to work it out for a little while no nah, no nah, it was okay. impossible you can't come back from that it's too mm. much how was how was his trust so after that situation how long before he ever got back in a how was his because that's traumatizing oh man could you imagine like the know, trust issues I don't know how long it took but I I remember like hanging out with him afterwards and I was in disbelief. I'd never heard a guy tell me something that you could feel it in his voice, how, right. how, how much heartbroken hurt. he yeah. was. Mm. And so I was kind of like, God, Lee, man, what happened? He was like, I don't know, B. He was drinking, like he was drinking, like he would be drinking like that like it was a Sprite. I, mm. like, I need to drink for him. Hey, right oh God, right. I need to drink for him. Now, was this Biggie? I got a story to tell? Or? No! Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. That's a perfect guy, but it was very similar. Wow, very that's crazy. Similar, I, don't shit like that make you be like, I'm glad I got out that shit. Like you got married. I'm early. telling you, the I'm, more yeah. the more I stories I hear, though. the more grateful I am to be alone. Like good, because that could not be me. Agreed. Could, like if I walked in I'm on my man like and he's, he's he's fucking somebody and she's like wearing my my oh robes my or something, I'm going. I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna go straight for the gun and mm -hmm. I'm shooting shit up. I'm gonna cry. Even if it's, I don't it's shoot too much. Bomb, I'm shooting yeah. up the crib. I don't know about shooting. I'm shooting. Yeah, you're shooting up the crib. You shooting, I'm crying. You yes. shooting stuff in the crib that don't have nothing to I'm do with it. I'm gonna shoot the couch. The fan. Oh, you like this Xbox? Box. The TV, the microwave. Now let me ask you this. You said you would never. You were never wild. Why do you yeah. think that is? Because you, like, I mean, coming up in the business, like yeah. in the yeah. era that you did, and from nowhere man, working was, at MTV, and then like you was the man. Like you're built. Like I was coming up like. In the, in the game. You knew everybody. I knew everybody. Every artist was coming through MTV. Everybody knew you too. It was a lot of beautiful girls, young and crazy. But I always was like, I don't want to lose my job. Like I was like, cause I knew how important it was for me to be there. And I always felt like, yo, I'm trying to represent my culture so strong. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make no mistakes. Cause not a lot of black guys are getting this shot. So I was like, yo, I was protective of my spot. Mm -hmm. And I'm being honest with y'all. I'm just like, yo mm -hmm. man, I can't fuck this shit up. So I was always like leery about eating you know where they say you don't shit where you eat because right? yeah, yeah. like a lot of women was like yo bill come hang out or you know bill won't you come through and i'm like ah, <laughs> i'm gonna come through but i'm gonna leave right I'm you know what up, mean? but i'm gonna pull off i was like because there was a lot of opportunities i'll be honest with you that i could have pretty much had it was like a, i'm sure it was a layup but i was just like is this gonna come back in some weird way and mess mm -hmm. up my job yeah. and then i'm looking crazy and we didn't have no social media back then right. Right. but the record realize. industry was this big right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, early the social record media. industry was this <laughs> big mm -hmm. you're only two phone calls away from oh yo you hooked up with who right mm -hmm. so that was still, the, because still I, like, like that. if you stay within the record industry you was going to get found out because mm -hmm. there's only so many bad chicks mm -hmm. it's only so many dudes that's like got that money and it was like it was it was like a small circle especially in New yeah, York yeah only so like many people that's in that's, that's what I'm saying that's like in New York I knew crowd. everybody everybody knew me so any move that it was weird was gonna get exploited but you feel aren't me? you glad you made those decisions I'm yeah sure. because like honestly with all the stuff that's coming out now yeah. from men in that time because I remember back in the day when Superhead dropped that book, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm so happy. happy. I didn't know. <laughs> I did not oh, meet her. Superhead. Like, I didn't no, meet her. I mean, that she wasn't in my universe. <laughs> like, was I heard of, like, the funny <laughs> thing about Superhead was I heard about Superhead. Right. Mm -hmm. like, before the book. Like, like before the book, like, I heard. She like, was legendary. She was like, 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 I was hearing Kat say this thing. You know, this, this, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing. And I was just like, who? And I kept hearing, I always said, who? But I never knew the face. I always heard about, you know, the scenarios mm -hmm. of different people, blah, 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 blah. And so cut to 15, 20 years later, I'm like, thank you, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I was never in that situation. Because cats was, houses was getting blown up. Mm -hmm. What was the craziest Boom. proposition you ever had that somebody was like, yo, let's da 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 da, like something crazy that somebody <laughs> suggested? I I got to say that for the book, but, but <laughs> my book will be out in April. You'll find out. But listen, <laughs> I had quite a few 
opportunities that were like presented to me that I was kind of like, I don't even know. Like, like, like I could feel the energy. Like you could tell when a woman like you, right? And mm-hmm. you could tell, you know, when um it's almost like they go, I like you, but it's a it's a soft like you. It's almost like, hey. Hey, like, I'm going to ruin your life. And you're like, all right. I, I felt that. You're going to show a little bit. All right. And then you could say, what's up? And she's like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, shit. Because <laughs> you famous, I'm famous. Now what? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. Because the, the thing about women to me that are famous is very few dudes that they are attracted to. Mm-hmm, right. So uh, so what happens is it's almost a catch 22 for a famous woman. She don't want to be with no like regular cat per Have se. Talking about you. She's attracted to another star or another dude with that energy that she got because she's like an alpha to right. become a star as a female mm-hmm. that means to me you're alpha female you're going to be attracted to another alpha but sometimes it's kind of difficult because both of y'all are like <laughs> <sighs> lions you know and so how do you maneuver like that's why I feel like a person like J-Lo you know I'm just thinking off the top of my head has had such difficulty in romance because she's an alpha mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's attracted to other alphas, but sometimes it's hard to kind of like. No, and when you're them. when you're famous and you're successful, you think it gives you the power. Oh, she can have whoever she wants. But it's but harder. She, like it's even harder because Look at now, Rihanna, like Rihanna is gorgeous, and beautiful. Exactly, they need a certain level of man. Like, you know, Rihanna. We don't know how many she might have had a lot of relationships we didn't know about. But like to me, from the outside looking in. I mean, she looks happy right now, mm-hmm. and but that's a long road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, think yeah, about how Rihanna. To, been, she had to do a couple like, things to but get to rock. She's pretty young. Yeah, yeah. I'm just but what I'm she's saying, but young, just the relationship. Yeah. Like, what's what good is all the money and all the fame and nobody to share it with? Like, you would like somebody in your life that understands you and that you mm-hmm. want to share stuff with, right? But I she could have did that she just chose not to because really like if you think about it her and ASAP Rocky dated previously and right. then they got back together same thing with J-Lo she was with Ben Affleck right. 20 years ago and then, and then, then it wasn't ready yeah. then. I think it's the timing too mm-hmm. it's like you get what I'm saying it's the timing it's the space you are as a person an individual it's the space that that person is in as well absolutely yeah. you understand yeah, what I'm I saying totally like there's a ben time ben Affleck and, a pl- and J-Lo are meant to be she just needed to have those little Puerto Rican kids with Mark Anthony just to so make the, the world right Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted some authentic Puerto Rican yeah, kids. Keep that shit real. Now she's right. gonna be with the man she's supposed to be but, with. But, but it's you know, for me, um, you know, I, I before I got married, like I was, you know, you know, at every party, I was mm-hmm. meeting the most beautiful and you know, nice and sometimes crazy girls, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like nervous. I'll be honest with you, I was just nervous to make a mistake. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I just always knew that black guys don't get a second chance. So I was always kind of like And you were like the representative. So yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I felt like the whole culture was <laughs> yes. I felt like the whole culture needed me and I was Absolutely. like, yeah. if I fuck this shit. You were our superhero. It was like I was putting so many cats on. Mm-hmm. I was getting cats from gold to platinum. You don't understand. Cats don't know my contribution to the game. Like cats was not getting the platinum without me. Right. There's no way you were selling mm-hmm. them records yeah, that, no. to that level unless mm-hmm. you came through MTV. Yeah. And my show mm-hmm. was the one. If yeah. you was on my show Absolutely. and they played your video five times a day, you out of here. Mm-hmm. Yes. You sitting with Tupac. You sitting with what? Michael Jackson. Right. Yes. Everybody yes. knew it too. Like right. cats knew they was like, they Thank had you, to get B. on your show. It was like, B on everything big thank you god please yo you know what i mean platinum diamond plaques i got at my house from artist little kim usher janet like it the list goes on red hot chili peppers i got all these plaques they don't give them out no more mm-hmm. they would be like thank you for your contribution <laughs> and mm-hmm. you got all them little ding, 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 that's the little, little, the little records come on mm-hmm. you remember this yeah. is back in the day cats don't know that mm-hmm. no but you i'm so saying like i that. just was nervous and maybe that was a good thing it How many times did people offer you drugs? A lot. A back lot. Then? Like yeah. pe- people, people. This is the funniest thing. I hope I don't get in trouble when I say this. <laughs> the first time I ever had a contact high in my life was from the brat. 
<laughs> I'm sure she don't mind that. No, but Brad would mind. Brad was she like, Bill, you too square. You <laughs> too goddamn square, right? And this was where they were, we was doing um we was doing a uh, dun dun. One for the money, mm-hmm. so two for the face, hey. Hey. three to get you going. I'm gonna give it to you. We was oh, doing a video I, shoot. I'm gonna give it to you. We was giving it. We was doing a give it to you video shoot in Atlanta. Biggie there, Tupac and Big is friends at this time. We in Atlanta. Mary's in the video. Go back and look at the video. Everybody is in this video and we shoot this at Evandy Holderfield's house. Wow. Well, that's cool. the house no, that Rick Ross owns yeah. now. Yeah, that's Rick right. Ross house right now. I'm keeping it 100. Mm-hmm. And Brad was like, yo, Bell, you too square. What's wrong with you? And this is the first time I seen a Philly blunt. Like, they was Stop. rolling they take. I'm like, why are you taking all the tobacco out? Shut up. She was rolling. She was doing like this and stuff. She rolled you it You didn't up. even know what it was. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, why is you taking the tobacco out? She was like, <sighs> <laughs> she was like, Bill, you got to get hot. I was like, no, I don't want to get hot. So she did, she rolled the blunt, smoked, and then went and blew it in my face. And I was sitting there dizzy. And you was like, yeah, I'm hot. So shout out to my minute, girl, right? Brett. That was, that, was my, that was my first Y'all was in Atlanta. She had that weed, that two chains we talking about w- all the it? time. And the loud weed, mm-hmm. super loud. They, y'all was in Atlanta, yeah, right? We was in Atlanta. Yeah. See, okay. back then, like, this was probably like 94. <laughs> yeah, that was maybe. in the 90s. So you would have went to jail for that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's regular. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. okay. About People, that that I remember the guys yeah. on my block. They used to go to jail for the whole weekend for smoking a blunt on the block. Just I one that. blunt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was they in a trailer. I cannot make shit. this up. Mm-hmm. I'm in the trailer. I'm, I want to believe. Well, I know it was Tupac and Big in there. I forget. Stretch might have been alive at that time. All of us is in this trailer because it's just waiting for the cameras. And I think Dave, Dave, I can't think of Dave Nelson was the Dave Nelson was the um director of that video. And I never forget watching this. I can see it in my head right now. Big and like me and you sitting here, big and Tupac rolling their blunts up together, like best of friends, like He's this. Dope. Like I was just like, yo, I this is crazy. That. And they doing like this and they doing like that. And I'm like, yo, these cats is like mad friends. Like I would have never thought things would have turned out. I, the way, way they was in that in that trailer in that moment, I was like, yo, these right. dudes is like brothers or whatever. Mm-hmm. I would have never seen that maybe not even three years later it would be completely different. What did you think your life was gonna be like? You're from Newark. You went to Seton Hall Prep? Yes. Right, that's in West Orange. Now, you know, my parents live in South yeah. Orange. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, Jersey's was... finest in the building. Yeah, so <laughs> what did you think you were going to do in life? Um, Initially, I was going to work in finance. I wanted to work on Wall Street initially. Mm-hmm. And so when I was in school, I studied economics and marketing. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get out of school graduate and then I'm gonna probably figure out how to get into finance because I always was you know intrigued by money and how things worked and stuff so I took the economics classes to understand different things I took a bunch of finance classes so that thought that was gonna be my thing but then I stumbled on like being funny at college (laughs) and I was like yo this shit funny as hell like this is fun though like just talking this might make me Mm rich yo I was like yo I just loved it and then I was doing like hosting shows at school talent shows Mm -hmm. and stuff and then everybody at my college at Rutgers was like yo Bill Bellamy funny as hell then I was like oh shit I might be a comedian and one thing led to another bing 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 so I said forget that Buy finance. I, boom. I went to the different finance. Yeah, I went. I went. <laughs> what was your first you know, like big check? My big, my first big check was MTV. I, I think. was gonna okay. say MTV. So they paid really well back then. They paid me. <laughs> I don't know about how they much they pay no more people. Yo, I'm a, I'll never forget Russell. Russell's like <laughs> Russell's like Bill. I'm gonna swear to you, nobody gets money over there, but I promise you. I'm going to get you that bag. And I was like, what? He was like, I promise you, gonna be the, the only person getting paid over there is Cindy Crawford. Mm-hmm. Cindy Crawford's getting money, six-figure money. <laughs> and so, and I'll never forget Russell said this. If I can't make a, if I can't, if I can't make a million dollars off you, I don't want to manage you. Wow. If I can't make a million dollars. If you make five million, I should make a million. If you make 10, that's how he was talking to me right. at the time. I was like, well, just give like, me to we'll one man. Right. Yeah. 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 I got 32,000. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You want a million, then let's get this to the side. <laughs> so right. Russell, at that time, Russell, 
um, was was managing me and uh, they got me the bag. And so that's, but I was the number one VJ. Yeah, I no. deserved the bag. I you, know? you did. Now, when you did How to Be a Player, right? Do you think that kind of like made people have a perception of you that wasn't who you are? Because based off of what you're telling us, you weren't really like that, right? Yeah, it was, it was good and bad. Like I was cool to fellas, but I couldn't pull a chick for a minute. <laughs> like, no, like, I, I know was how stuck, you I are. was stuck for like a year. Cause chicks is like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> exactly. Bill, stop, stop, Bill. No, you're not gonna do me like that. I seen your movie. I seen your movie. They think that's oh, really you. Yeah, yeah, that's you. Like, Bill, that look like you. <laughs> they when, that, that they, when they do this, that look like you. That mean you did some real acting. I did. Yeah. I mean, I was. I I knew the character was gonna be hard to play because I, I was just like, this is a character that is going to be difficult for women to digest. I said, the only way I can do this if I'm not arrogant about it. Mm. So I had to make it fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't like, yo, I'm this dude. That. I said, I got to be fun. So like, it's not like, I don't know I'm be a bad boy. I'm just being a bad boy. I always loved that movie. Right, it's just yeah. cute. <laughs> Even though the, the guy in real life, that you're disgusting. Right, okay. but, but the way I played like, it was like like a kid. Look, this is like, how oh my god, I got like <laughs> it was really fun. I got like I eighteen playing as a candy. Yeah, I want to eat peppermint. I'm gonna have a Mary Jane. Yeah. And like, right. So I did it in a colorful, fun it way, was so fun. that people could digest it. But guys like the fact that I had so many women were like, you know what? He got to get caught though. Because mm -hmm. we had two yeah, endings to that movie. Not to. But listen, we had two endings to that movie. The one ending was that I got away with everything, mm -mm. and it, the movie tanked. Yeah, can't that can't Women happen. Women was like hot. You know, yeah, they do the little that. focus groups. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. They was mad, and then when they said when they got caught, they was like, okay, good. Okay, good. They was like, all right, I love all right, your right thank you, thank you. <laughs> Because he was bullshitting. So then when they did, when they tested it with me getting caught, the women is shot up. So that's when we knew we had a good movie. The women were like, I love the ending. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been a side <laughs> guy? Because you talk about how women are better right. at being side chicks mm -hmm. and guys aren't that good at it, right? No, no, guys are not good being side Have chicks. Have you ever, like, when you being were younger, been, chicks. like, the guy on the side? Been? I think I was and I didn't know it when I mm. think back at it because I didn't know why I wasn't getting on the A-team, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot uh -huh. of times women have A-team and B-team, too. So they got the A-team is the dude that you really care about, but you got the backup dude. He come off the bench. I think I was I was suggesting yeah, I was six men. I was Jamal Crawford. I was like, yo, I'm really nice, but I can't start for you, baby. I met a lot of chicks like that that I was like, nah, I'm not ready. I don't know if How I'm do you know when you're in that position? Like what are the Because like women to me, women let you know you just don't really want to accept it. <laughs> You know how y'all do. Because you, do? you like us, but you won't tell us it's you really not him. You say stuff like, mm -hmm. let's hook up. Like, you know what? Why don't we get together for a drink or whatever? Mm -hmm. Like, let's get together for a drink. I want to hang out. I want to hang out. Like next week or two weeks. And then you go to you go somewhere with your man and y'all have a good time. You're eight, the A team, dude. Right. On vacation or something. Yeah. I get the drink. I get the drink. <laughs> you come back tan. You look, <laughs> like the funny shit is you come back tan you look good you in a good mood you see me i'm like hey angela She's like boo what's up how you been oh my god where you been oh i had just me and my girls went to jamaica then we turned up and then we came back and i was thinking about you and i was like let's get together for, for a drink, drink. Yeah, you a drink true. dude mm -hmm. let's yeah. get together for we so definitely, i think i've been a six man before we Maybe. definitely have our guys that we put in those categories yeah it's like sure. let's get together for a drink it's like mm -hmm. you don't like me like that but yeah. you like me yeah enough. you cool like he's cool you cool to hang around to like him. pass a little time and exactly. yeah, you yeah. like yeah. hanging out with me but yeah. i'm not him i'm not him yet it's not embarrassing yeah i'm not like it's like but but it's, it's funny because I remember this one chick I really, 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 really like. And she was dealing with this drug dealer cat. I never forget because I grew up in Jersey. Yeah. You know, you and all the drug dealer dudes was like, like, fly to street yeah, chicks. Yeah, the girls they wanted They was like, them. yo, mm -hmm. you know Shahi, Shahi. <laughs> oh my God, Shah. <laughs> Sean yeah. gonna have his baby like that's how it was yeah. where I grew up like I'm yeah like the big, the big guy on the block yeah like, like, the prize. You know, like he was like the prize with the hood yeah, right? yeah. so I was always losing the Shahids 
my whole Shahid. life. Because I wasn't no Shahid. I wasn't going to sell drugs to get no check. But they always had dimes. The the drug dealer cats all in my neighborhood always had dimes. Little cutie. Like the baddest chick in my mm-hmm. block. She was not messing with you. She was like, yo, Bill, you cute. But, but you ain't shy. You not shy. Shall I come pull up in the nice SL? Oh, I'm on a bike. No. You don't even exist anymore, right? <laughs> and that's the game of life, though, if you want to be honest. It's just like, you just got to make sure wherever you are as a man, you just make sure you're him. You're him for you and you're him for life. Like, mm-hmm. And the, the chick that's for you will be you at some point. Do you remember losing your virginity? Yeah. What was that like for you? It was quick. <laughs> How old were you? Oh. High school, I mean, you're 13, I high like in your teens? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I was like probably like 15, 16. Were, you, uh, the, were y'all around the same age? Was she younger, older? She was older than me. Older. I think she was like 17, 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I felt so embarrassed because it was it was too fast. She was experienced already. Yeah. Okay. I was like, she was just that. Say hi to me. I'm going to show you how fast it was. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, you, did you guys so how was it the second time over that was oh, your that first, was your first did you first double back there the second time you see you nasty like she always want to go right back right she I was just saying, I didn't know what time. to do I was I remember I was just really embarrassed because I was just like oh my god I apologize I'm so sorry <laughs> you I were very polite yeah, yeah I was like polite, I'm 16 year old. so sorry <laughs> but did you guys do it again yes okay and how was it's it the second time much better right like two minutes more three Three more and minutes. Then three. Then eight, yeah. So yeah, it got it, better. It, it was a build up. So she you had can, patience. Yeah, when well, you know, well, you're young and you don't have experience. That like means that. she saw the potential in you. Yeah, right, she was good. like, you know what? You know, I'm gonna give him a drink. <laughs> <laughs> she he gonna be alright. He gonna be alright. But even though it was quick, did you like tell your boys after like, yo? I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him I was quick. Draw McGraw. But you did tell but him y'all I just did it. Tell, I felt like I had. You know, got past that threshold, I guess, when oh, you were a teenager. Mm-hmm. Like, I had my first. Like, oh, my God. First I, time. I was like, wow, it's different. Like, I feel like I'm <laughs> big boy now, you know, because I had heard other guys, you know, in high school said that they had that experience and I hadn't had it at that time. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of felt like I made the boys club or whatever. Nice. Yeah, I was proud. You were like a late bloomer then, kind of. Yeah. I'm, I literally feel like that my whole career. I always right. felt like, you know, I'm the fourth quarter cat. Like I, I never, I never felt like I was always the guy. Like I always felt like I had to work for it. Like the swan, like you had to bloom, you plant your seeds, and then you blossom later. Because a lot of the chicks that I liked, even when I was young, and they didn't see the potential, and then later when I blew up, they was like, "Oh my God, Bell, I remember mm-hmm. you, Bell Bellamy. Nah. Do you remember?" That's like, like, do you remember? Bill Bellamy, Bill Bellamy, Bellamy. Oh, my God. oh my God. Always no. I'm like, bitch, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. What Did- were your parents like? I'm just curious because to see like how you were growing up, yeah. not in the streets like that, going to Seton Hall Prep, being a, a bit of a late bloomer, being so cautious, wanting to get into finance. Like, what was that like at home? Well, I just grew up in a blue collar family. You know, my mom and dad were hard workers, you know. Um, high school education. Uh, my mom didn't graduate from high school. My mom had me when she was like 16. So, you know, they were a young couple and, you know, they just figured it out like good times, you know, mm-hmm. like, okay, I got a son now, I got to work and this, that, and the other. So my parents were just like, don't mess up. Right. Get some education. <laughs> you better be something. Don't you be no pump. Don't you sell no drugs. And don't you get nobody pregnant. Like that was all in my house. That was the one, two, three. Don't you get nobody pregnant. You get a goddamn job. And don't you come in here with no foolishness. So. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Did they understand like what you were doing when you were working at MTV? Did they get it? Because you know how sometimes parents in the entertainment industry, mm. they don't quite. My mom understand. was so afraid for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never forget when my mom was like, oh my God, baby. You're going to be in the entertainment. That's all they do is drugs. Oh, God. She ain't lied back and then. And there's women they everywhere. They wild. I was, like, I, I was like, it was, I'll be all right, mama. <laughs> I promise you, I'll, I'm going to be all right. I'll figure it out. You know, and, uh, I'm a boy. And, um, and, and my mom was so nervous. You know, she was just like, oh, my God. And then, like, she started seeing me with, like, other stars, you know, my dad. You know, she's like, "Oh my God, baby, you was talking to Whitney." Yeah, <laughs> that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, 
<laughs> oh my God, baby. I see you talking to Beyonce and Nim and how you know all them people? So it was just so weird because you got to understand there is a window between 91 and 97 that was prolific in hip hop and pop culture. Mm -hmm. yes. Let me. What I'm about to hit you with is crazy. And, and let me give Angela, Angela her flowers because my book spawned off the Breakfast Club. When I came in oh, and interview. did that interview and they said to me, you should do a book. I prom it's from them. So between 91 and 97, mm -hmm. let's go back in a movie. MTV was not playing our music like that. Nope. Yeah. Nope. At all. Mm -mm. And we had certain shows and then VH1 was all rock and roll and the that, let's be stuff. let's keep it one hundred, right? Remember, all of a remember sudden, in the nineties the alternative rock shit was big too. Remember it wasn't playing. It right. wasn't playing R and B. It wasn't mm -mm. playing like, you know That's uh, how I know all the Atlantis Moore sets and all of that. Here come ninety one, ninety two. Here come Naughty by Nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here come hey. here come Salt and Pepper. Here My come shit. TLC. Mm -hmm. Here come um mm -hmm. uh H Town and Jade and S. No, and then you came mm -hmm. with the show. And then I had jams. So jams was the hybrid of hip hop, uh -huh. pop, and it was so important. So it was so important to the culture. So all these boys and men shoom, yep. blew up. All these groups kills brandy. Oh my God! Just think of Monica. Mm -hmm. Just think about what I'm saying. Right. This all happened in the six years the man, that people was coming up. Bam, bam, bam. And you were right there. I was right I there. Yes, I remember that they were doing the hype. Williams were doing those big, expensive. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Video, video. Video. Come on you want to be in those videos? No, and yeah. it was so big. Remember MTV and VH1s were, and the box, video music box with the mm -hmm. only video there, channels. Yes. yes, and um, they, the, I remember the video started getting so big that they started premiering them. I remember Michael Jackson. And then Janet Jackson yep. did that thing, and, and they premiered it on Fox. I remember they were premiered on mm -hmm. regular time. I thought you interviewed Who Michael Jackson for screen. Yes. Yes. And you were Boom. the one. Yeah. Yes. Remember, I remember it was a that. big premiere, yeah. and I think it was well, sponsored by Pepsi. Everything. It was huge. Yes. Michael Jackson is the only artist to ever do this to broadcast the premiere of his video on every on network every, yeah. at, the at the same time. Yeah. Push yeah. the button, boom. It's on every channel. Yeah. 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 I don't even know how channel. he did that shit. It's on every <laughs> channel. How no, did he make like that happen? No, but like you said, in that time, though, it was so important. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And you know what's crazy? You know Fred Jordan? You remember Fred? Yes. So I used to intern for him. You lying. That was my boy. That was my guy. Yeah, we both lived in Jersey City. He actually made me quit my job when I worked at um, Wu-Tang to go work for D'Angelo because he was like, you he always he wanted me to come work for him when I graduated, but I ended up going to work for Wu-Tang, but I used to intern for Fred. And I remember Diddy was premiering, like he wanted to, cause Fred used to pick what videos yes, would play. He, he had to do a presentation. Mm -hmm. So everybody wanted to be cool with him because if you wanted to get your video played on MTV, the first step was, was Fred, Fred had to even present your video. So I remember Diddy Love. had us come to his studio, daddy's house, to watch, I think it was a hypnotized video. Oh, that, that and video Fred was used to take me with him everywhere. Like we went to go see New Edition in concert, like and Artie him and Artie Fuqua. They used to take me everywhere. And it was like the most amazing place to be. And he really like helped me a lot in my career after I graduated. He was like, I really want you to come work here. But I ended up working for Wu-Tang and then he was like, I want you to go work here now. I want you to leave. He was like, you need to be doing this R&B thing. You need to go work for D'Angelo. But he was the man. Yeah. And, back and, then. and out of nowhere, you know, he took his own life and he was so vibrant. Yeah. Like he was such a you good would I, never I still know. see his little glasses, his mm -hmm. face and everything. He was just a really incredible uh, guy in a spirit. And I never could imagine that that would be his fate at mm. that time. We were all so young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't know that. See, this is why I'm glad we talked. This is a good, this is a good lip mm -hmm. service. Because ah! we, we are reminiscing about a moment yeah. in time that nobody else can else. get back. Like we're going, we're talking about a time in, in, in music, uh, in the culture that people can't get back to. Mm -hmm. We're the right age and we were right at part of a movement that was culturally powerful, right? Mm -hmm. Music videos meant everything. They everything. had budgets. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was telling you, like, 
it was really like yeah, to be yeah. a video Lily, director I was started, bomb. I, I started Even the girls my, in the videos made yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, no, I started my career um in music videos, doing being a video vixen and mm. Back in that day, um, um, Margot Wainwright was my manager, and okay. she used you know Margot, yes. of course, yes. of course, yes. yeah. So was in the business for twenty five years. I haven't heard years. that name in twenty five right. years. That's yes. like yes. you blowing my mind. Me. Yeah, she discovered me. She got me Bonita Applebaum. You and you wasn't Margo. a real Anita. Anita. Yeah, Anita I was Applebaum. Anita. Applebaum. Anita. Anita Applebaum for for a Tribe Called Quest. But at that time, I, I I'm not gonna lie. Margot got me into the budget. Every video I did, I got paid. Well. Yo, yeah. for real. And it yes. was it was this is what the new girls don't know. You know, they do they only do free. they do only fans and they, you know, they doing stuff on Instagram in the 90s to be a beautiful woman that knew how to dance or whatever would just be extra sexy. You got paid for that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something. You was in a, they wanted you in a lot of videos too. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of girls got famous back then from just being in a fly ass video. They styled y'all fly. Mm -hmm. Your hair, makeup was crazy. And that's another thing. Every set I was on, I had my own dressing room. I was treated like, you know, you were star of the video. Being a bad chick was fly. It was video vixens. Yeah. 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 Like I don't understand girls doing videos for two hundred dollars, yeah. three hundred and fifty dollars, or for Never. free. But Never. it's a That's different day. It it it's just they don't have the budgets like yeah. they used. Because no, the videos also aren't million dollar videos. Yeah, exactly. Right. And right. and I and I worked. I have. I was on videos that were for big artists, and we had. Budgets. Yeah, budgets, but one thing about being on set for a video, you get there at six in the morning and you You're don't need till three they o'clock in the that. morning the next You're day. All day. I remember. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story about getting your money right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna leak this. Okay, I'll leak it. <laughs> so I, when I was doing How to Be a Player, we did a video with Foxy Brown and Drew Hill. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, Big Bad Mama. Mm-hmm. Yes, we I shot that in works. Wall Street area. Right. I never forget this shit that Foxy would not come out the trailer until she got her fucking money, right? Mm. And so I'm thinking I'm the star of the video because it's my movie. I'm like, why are we waiting? Because I'm mad. I'm sitting in the trailer for like three hours like, being in the, the financial district and I'm trying to figure out. So I nobody was giving me the right story. Nobody was telling me the truth. So I'm like, boom, 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 boom. You know, the little trail. Boom, boom. Foxy, what's the deal? Yo, Bell, real talk, real talk. Lior better bring me my motherfucking money. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what happened? I'm like, yo, we sitting here for three hours. Yo, it's <laughs> two, three in the morning. How the fuck is she going to get cash? She said, I want cash. Mm. I was like, at two, Shit. three in the morning, out of nowhere, a big ass Mercedes, whatever came up. <laughs> Couple paper bags. Her boom, money. Boom, boom, boom. And she was like, doom, 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 doom. Yeah. 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 She came yeah. out the mother yeah. with yeah. the yeah. 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 Yeah, that was crazy. I was like, she is a boss. She said, run my shit. She didn't give me $30. <laughs> Foxy said, run my shit. did you make off of that movie? I made some good money. Okay, good. Okay. I, took yeah. it I did good. Yeah. yeah. And you coined the phrase booty call. Yeah. But I didn't get paid for booty call. Y'all just got a lot of booty off of me. Damn. <laughs> but booty call, I should have trademarked it. But I didn't know that shit in mm-hmm. 91, 92. Right, that I was right. just going to say a joke that everybody would go, to oh this my day. God. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. Yeah. And to this day, we people still say, yo, that's a booty call. Like, hey, yo, sure. Because it's funny. Yeah. You know why I came up with that? Because I had to figure out a way to say it without being nasty. Because mm-hmm. I was, you could say it on TV. Because mm-hmm. right. back then, you it was so conservative about mm-hmm. what you could say. But I was like, yo, I made a booty call. And it and it, it actually sounds funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not It doesn't like, sound oh. gross. Like yeah. 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 Call it a booty. Listen, I'm sure booty call is in the urban dictionary right oh, it now. Is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah. probably in the regular dictionary by <laughs> now. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I'm what like, is it called? Miriam Webster. These are booty call hours. Don't be hitting me up at this time. Don't call me right now at 3 in the morning. You ain't call me all day. Don't call me now. Use booty call in a sentence. Booty call hours. 11, I think, like after 11. After 11, you know what it is. Yeah. All that, I ain't gonna I lie. feel like it depends on what time I start getting tired. If you call me out of time and I'm already getting tired, mm-hmm. you're calling me too late. It's Listen, too late. if I'm leaving the club 
and I'm tipsy and you just happen to call, you just look. But up. that is still a booty call. Right? And I'm okay yeah, with that. Yeah, she she call call that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't call Perfect every time. time. Yeah. You feel like she'd be like, babe, I was just thinking about you. But now yeah. it's a booty text because people exactly. don't call me. Yeah. Don't they don't even talk. Call. People just text you, WID. <laughs> or I call. Oh, yeah, that's a new booty call, WID. Yeah, at 2 a.m., at 2 30, you about to leave the club. Back in the day, you had to do so mm-hmm. much work. See the new cats now. They they got the, they got the social media stuff. They doing DMs. They doing all this crazy stuff. But in the nineties, right? You had to. You literally had to call. Mm-hmm. Like you would call a chick and be like, "Yo, what's up? How you doing? What's up?" You, 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 you had to crib? Yeah, you had to call the landline. Oh, yo, I'm up too, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> you want to come by? Yo, my, yo, my roommate going for the weekend. <laughs> like, you would stay over here. Let me ask oh you this. God. You have a lot of conservativeness about you. Were you always conservative in the bedroom too? And no. I hope not. You know, because <laughs> like, are you experimental? Me, I think, I'm, you know what? I think for me, I think I'm... I'm not like ultra wild. I thought I was wow. <laughs> Let me tell you how you realize you ain't wow until you go to hedonism. Mm. Oh my god, I've never been. I, I talk thought, about this all the like, time. Like I thought I was like 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 in in this like if you look at wow on a one to ten, I thought I was at seven. They or wanted eight. us to do lip service at hedonism. Listen, Wait, if you I do lip service, at, you got to do it because you're gonna realize. You ain't wow. Rewind. No, what's, I what's did. that for it's those the, that don't know? It's a swingers resort. It's a swingers resort, I, um, a swingers resort in Jamaica. Okay, so, so I there's. For, a, I shot the cover of Smooth Magazine, and we did it on the resort in Jamaica. Tell them what I'm Let me tell you. Too. Like he said, you think you wow until you go over there. Yeah, there's some this like, levels to wow. Wow got yeah. cap all caps. And like, W-I-L-D. One side is nude, and the other side is prude. So on nude side, anything goes. Mm. Wait, so this they is fucking in, in the pool as well. Hold on, because if I don't know, I know a lot of people don't know what that is. What is okay, this? hedonism. It's a new resort. Okay, okay. It's a resort in Let Jamaica. me explain what hedonism. Let's start with the word hedonism. It is called liberation. It is like no ceilings, whatever you want to do. Release no, your inhibitions, it ain't no, no judgment. It ain't no judgment. It's wild. Like it's, and, they, and they travel around the world with this. I didn't know no, this. Listen, it's, while we it's were there, like there was, uh, I met like three or four sing- who, single women who went by themselves, you just know, to, to go have, just fun. To have a swing just up fast. So I thought before I ever went to mm-hmm. hedonism that I was potentially like a wild guy. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm you know, I'm good. Like I, I'm, know, out, I here. I'm, I'm out here, I'm outside. Like I know there. what to do. I'm good at this. I'm good at that. I'm probably like at an eight out of 10. I'm, I'm a G in this game. When I went to hedonism and I seen what wow really is, I'm at a two. What wow. was it? Like, what was happening? Because they don't care about nothing. Like, <laughs> yo, d- d- right here, right there. Oh. <laughs> Not no I seen, a, I, seen a whole naked, I seen a whole naked woman go past me in a slide, butt ass naked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what? in Jamaica. Yo, I ain't you standing, that shit Stephanie, is normal. am I lying? Yeah, you standing the at the bar and a whole naked person will come by. Them. <laughs> it's a clear, it's a clear slide, and they'll slide through the club. He was like, so what's you that just ass? See, so you just see balls hanging. Everything. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Everything. I, like I like I was like, I was. I felt so I nerdy. I was I was clutching myself. I was like, nah, I wait, I was like, take me back to the Take me back to the Wait, so that still happens now? Angel, I was like, yeah. they nasty, nasty. No, and even on the Prue side, you could be naked. So there's still naked people in the Prue side too. It's just on the nude side, you, you can't have to be nude. Yeah, I've never heard about this. Have to be. Let me tell you. Can I tell y'all a funny story? Because I got you know I got stories. So I'm Bill Bellamy. <laughs> I'm doing this thing with Michael Bayston and, and he didn't tell me no prep. He didn't give me no nothing. He was just like, yo, Bill, I want you to do the hostess comedy show well, at my joint in Jamaica Hedonism. I'm thinking like, oh, that's shit. a state. I don't know what hedonism is at the time. <laughs> Soon as I check in, I'm not lying, put my bags in my room. I come around the corner by the pool. What are they doing? Fucking. They are having a... Uh, uh, um. It, I think it's a Sunday. Dudes have Sundays on them. On Sunday. On their privacy. 
What's a Sunday? What's like the ice, ice cream, cream Sunday. 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 They're making like Sundays on a big. They're making Sundays on a banana Sunday. But the banana is the dick. So the dick is the banana. So the banana is the dick. The, 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 wow. No, and that's what kind of ice cream. This is in broad daylight. Where they're yeah, sprinkles? Yeah, no, they were probably doing like an event <laughs> where it was a fun D- There's four event. guys, five mm-hmm. guys. There are five guys laying on the ground by the pool. And you make the Sunday and you One eat it up the dick. I cannot. I can't make this up. You walk around the corner, there's five guys laying on the ground, and the girls have the chocolate, they have the uh, sprinkles, they have the whipped cream, cream, the cherries, and, the cherries. and they're putting it all over here, and they get in. I've never yeah. heard of this. And they Ever. slurp it like, off. Please, when in I was there, people. they were the 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 out. <laughs> <laughs> so she like, been Gigi wanna What's go? What's that you, Gigi? Oh, I've never been to hedonism. I, I do want to go though. We, can, I never go. Been. we can do it. Let's, when we were supposed to do lip service, I was so excited. Just I, know, I, I don't do know it. about the Sunday thing because that sounds not hygienic. No, but see, this, is like, no, this was pre COVID and this was like, I don't even know. Sunday party. Like, no there was no a girl with two men. There was a boyfriend. She had two boyfriends and she was fucking both of them, like switching in the pool. And everybody was just like, <laughs> mm. Watching Where? them, and they knew everybody was watching. Be in a and pool like that, but like, yeah, first of all, I'm not getting in that pool. pool. It's against the rules. No, you're to not be supposed in the pool, to. But they did not. Because she was they, switching, it's bouncing like, on is both of them. I was like, mm-hmm. the thing that's so like, crazy about it is they don't tell you. They should give you a pamphlet. Buckle up. Right. <laughs> Buckle right. up. Let go of all your conservatism because the shit about to get real. You go there. I know. I did. I was like, Stephanie, have I told a lie in here yet? No, my I whole, swear. the whole, the whole three days I was no, there, my no. mouth was open like this. No, oh my god! But not like right, that. That's what I oh said. Like, I kept saying, "Oh my god!" Like, like, because I, 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 I had never seen people be so free, and so I'm sitting I swore there. I was gonna be on the nude side the whole time. Listen whole time I'm in the prude side. Listen like, to me. You be in your room, and people walking past your room naked, naked, like Dick walking out. around. Did it make y'all. you more free later in life? Like after experiencing that and realizing you were no, two? it just no, it just made me realize like, like I'm not that wild. Like I might be wild in my mind but there's <laughs> right. but people are freer than me like there's like we are conservative like I know I'm conservative but like I didn't know like it's levels to this like I didn't know that some people don't even care about the stuff you thinking about right. you know right. you're right like, uh, the, like literally I never forget I'm at the bar right and there was a toga party <laughs> I'm not making this up yeah, and I think I'm they like, do that and every I'm week. like and I'm hearing like <laughs> and I'm sitting there going I've never heard that in like I'm club. not turning around. Oh, I'm not, like, not going to turn around. <laughs> I know that's that song. sound is crazy. That's a very familiar sound. <laughs> I don't know if that I should be hearing. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's not supposed to be outside. <laughs> right. I turned around and this girl is taking care of her man, and the, they both naked right next to me. I'm like, please don't, please don't touch me. <laughs> and, and I'm kind of, and like I'll turn like, like I'm acting like I ain't never seen that in my life. I'm like, oh my god, they nasty. Like, what is she trying to hold her hand? No, 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 it's too much for me. I couldn't. Listen, I swore that I was gonna Angela, come to the side the whole time, I, I and promise, I was make me a promise all the time. If you and for do me, your show, let's do this, this. Let's make this promise right here with this crew. Do your show in hedonism. The amount of material, because your show is kind of sexual and all very that. sexual. It's going to make y'all show go through the roof because y'all ain't y'all ain't even y'all ain't even at tapping at the surface. Hey, are we, you gonna come to? I'm not no, coming. I'm, 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 I'm scared. Honestly, I yeah, do. I have my microphone on the pro show. I, 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 have my, for I have my wire all the way on the prude side. Angela, this like, is Bill coming here. from the prude side. Get <laughs> <laughs> your bitch ass over here. <laughs> so scary. Oh, no. yeah. I'm checking in over here from the prude side. We over here having drinks. <laughs> We're over here having water on the rocks. <laughs> well, I've learned something on lip service. So you I've mean, never heard of it. I've, I've always heard about it. Yeah. 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 I haven't. I'm I haven't surprised. even been to Jamaica yet. Laura. Mm. I'm not surprised that you never heard well, of it. Well, if you're going to do Jamaica and you want to do it like in a way that where you'll be like, the experience is crazy, do a hedonism. I want to do it. I want to do it. No, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been to Jamaica a few times a in my times. lifetime and 
Hedonism is not where you want to go in Jamaica. I'm sorry. I mean, I would, unless, but I feel like our show. No, I'm saying yeah, if we like go together, show, pertaining to your yeah, show. Like, no, yeah, like our show is a perfect because everything. Now, just to let yes. you know, we definitely had somebody squirt in this room before, right? Like that's right like, where you sitting. She yeah, squirted right, right here. Is they it, had to dunk out the way. Is it on me? No, <laughs> I think no. it's clean now. Okay, you wiped it off. Why did they do that on your show? It wasn't well, there. Well, okay, so it was a guy who was a dominatrix, Sir Marvelous. A guy? Yeah. yeah, and his girl was his a sub, submissive, and he knows how to make girls squirt and he definitely made her squirt everywhere and he was like, it don't was you fucking squirt yet, not till I tell you, hold on. And then he was like, 10, 9, 8, and she was and like, oh. she's and then she Did y'all run on one? We yeah, were shot in. We was behind the corner. I climbed up <laughs> there. Did you I put was a shield on? Corner. <laughs> yeah, we I didn't in. want to get hit by squirts. It's not your squirt. Could you I was imagine? so far away. What did the producers do? What y'all do? They were in the other room. Y'all, oh, y'all was behind us? They were <laughs> behind the glass. They like, they like three, Anthony was in that laptop like, don't you hit my camera? How far did no, she? What, what, that's on that. That happened on a real show. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A couple months Check ago. Check them out. So y'all, I promise you, hedonism is <laughs> up your lane. All that to say. No, but oh. I feel like our show is a perfect fit for hedonism. The the people, the guests would enjoy our show. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah they guests of hedonism. Yeah, we, like we might be that. like, oh my god, yeah, we I need to be like, the heat in the situation. And I feel like if we announced that we were coming, people would book just to see y'all. I cannot. I cannot make this up. It is the best experience I had as far as like open my eyes up to let levels. To mm-hmm. let you know, I am Because I was just like, I'm really not that wow. Like I was like, yo, I'm kind of dope. Like I do this, I do. I'm like, man, you ain't shit. Like my shit like Home Depot. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, there's levels to the, to the game of freedom of, of like experiences that I probably would never endure because I'm a little too kind of like. Yeah, I was trying to look for it. It's, that's. Look. Wait a minute. Let me I wasn't there. I was like, wait, did he stick his fist in her? Like, that's what it, it looked his like. Fist. Yeah. He took he his fist. Why are you the way? We were scared. Yeah, I was Angela not trying like to be that close. <laughs> Angela ain't scared of shit. It looked like she having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> she did. It's kind of like was, having a baby. She was bound and... Um, and she, her legs was up, and he used like electric current and fire play. I'm just making him do our toys, where he was literally rubbing fire on her body with a wand, and mm-hmm. then he used two different type of toys in his hand and his fingers. All this to say, Bill, you have to step squirted. it up. I have you a know question what? Get though. Your game up. Okay. <laughs> when squirted. was the last time you guys been there? Is it still the same now? Because y'all know everything's changed. My man, that hotel is like a time capsule. It's so that still, resort is exactly the same. He they didn't just, upgrade it. Or they nothing. didn't upgrade. It is oh. the same. Yeah. So I need a suite. Ain't nobody what part of Jamaica? Nobody's going there. Yeah. To be She's very bougie. We, and we all need to be in a suite. What part of here? Jamaica is this? <laughs> where we, we it was in the grill. Them. It's in the oh, grill. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the best part of the Jamaica to have this in. I want to go jump off that. I'm going to give you Jamaica shit that you could do. Okay. Yeah, I like Ultra Reels. If your first trip to Jamaica is like on some not hedonism stuff, you want to go to the grill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The grill is beautiful. I want to go. Mm-hmm. Like Montego Bay is kind of like more touristy. And it's easier mm-hmm. to get to from yeah, the airport. Yeah, but you want to go to the grill because the grill is like more low key and very beautiful. It's but that's gorgeous. more coupley. If you want to be with your girls, I feel like you could do Ocho Monte- Rios or Montego Rio, Bay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But like if you want some like, it's two ways to do the grill. You do it with your man, have a good time. You and your man, it's gonna be sexy like a James Bond movie. Ain't got none of those, so let's She's single. Okay. For so if you're single, you probably gonna to want to do the other ones, right? Yeah. Ocho and Montego Bay. I feel like Ocho's Reels is a little you romantic. Go to Margaritaville. <laughs> your Ocho's is kind of That's romantic, beautiful. yeah, because it's, it's just so it's so pretty, and the water is like yeah. beautiful, and 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 in the in the, the beach is like sugar. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But you can also go to the country, Port Antonio, the beautiful. Trident. What G-Town. you know about that? Okay, don't play. I love Jamaica. Jamaica's probably you know, one I love of Jamaica. the most I visit the most place I visited besides Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. I've been to Jamaica is it a lot Omo, of times. Am I thinking Old Moon Bay? Is that the resort? What Omo, is it called? Is it called Old Half Moon? Moon? Half Moon. Yeah, mm-hmm. Half Moon. Stay at the villas. Go stay your first time to Jamaica. That's what I'm I would saying. stay at, it was, I would stay was, at Half was, Moon was Bay. Was Hedonism the most beautiful resort you ever been to? No, but it was the most no, eye opening. No, no. It was the most eye opening yeah. for him. Yeah. And the most vagina opening. No, the most sexy, the sexiest thing 
And my wife took me to this. It was so sexy. It was um, it was where they did the James Bond. It's the Golden Eye. Oh, oh the one and only. One and only. Yeah, I've been there. Too. Like, like, <laughs> oh, she said she do that. She said she did that. I've been there twice. <laughs> but like, but that's for like romance. Yeah, like, the one and it's, only. It's, it's only I was there as your child. We <laughs> it's only it's only like nine to twelve villas. Uh, where's your you place? have like a butler. It's crazy. That's where like, Jennifer got married. Mm-hmm. I, the one and only Jennifer Williams in the Bahamas. Hey, I was like, no, 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 can we work mm-hmm. on that? As long okay. as ain't nobody squirting in it. Nobody's okay. going to squirt. I don't want that, that, on, to, I don't want that in my movie. Let's need, do it. We need the, 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 the How to Be a Player. Like three different versions. With the ladies. Angelique, have you I ever been in a movie? It. Yeah, a couple. I just did a nice little hood Detroit movie because it's been my all. dream. No, <laughs> but I want to put you in a scene, though. Okay. Can I put you in a scene? I don't have to squirt, right? No. Okay, it's going to be sure. Yes, please do. Like, okay, so realistically, the How to Be a Player Part 2 yeah, is on the way. Right, so How to Be, and can you do, like, different players? Because so what, 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 so what, we, what we can do, because yeah. we're going to make this happen, we're going to speak it, and it's going to happen. This has happened to me about 20 times in my life. I'm going to speak it into to exist. Orish, is ex- yes. existence. Mm-hmm. I'm going to find a role in the movie that each of you can be in. Yes. Yes. That's, that's going to be fun. I'm, I'm an experienced actress. I'm I've ready. Been in a couple We're not going to be in Jamaica <laughs> and you ain't got to get all wet and stuff got to be okay, crazy. Okay. But that sucks. You're going to be in a movie. <laughs> I'm going to put you in a movie and you're going to be in a scene where you're going to look really beautiful and you're going to be really sexy and we, you're not going to be drunk though. Okay. Because you, because you, I Sounds like, like she, hair made, cause she like, like good hair and makeup yes. and she ain't got to be drunk because she could drink. She could drink, drink. I could out drink you. She, right. I thought you I had drink you. Everybody. I you drink. showed me that I'm not built for this. Look at this. Look, look at this food. It. And that's exactly how and she, she and you know. Like, yo, boo, look at my cup and look at her. <laughs> And yours is empty. I got to refresh. But listen, I want to thank you guys for having me. No, we want to thank you. We actually had a really good time with you. Because we, yeah, I know yeah, we, we, we didn't get as nasty as you guys want to be. But we respect but, also the fact but, that you are married. And I have children. Yeah, and yeah, you have children yeah. Yeah. that can listen. And you're but they're going to be very entertained by but this. They, they daddy funny and he ain't We have to respect our legends. Y'all, and, y'all are national treasure. You are a national treasure. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and our show isn't always about being so nasty. It's not like you It's like colorful, though. It's very colorful. We had a flashback moment. She learned about hedonism. We know she. She knew up uh, women. Where we go, Gigi? Boo, boo, boo. She was like, she was like, um, Hype Williams. Um, we were talking about um, video directors, and you lit up on that. Mm-hmm. What was what was the dopest video you was in? Let's give you your flowers. The right dopest now. video I was in. Mm-hmm. Jay Z, excuse me, miss. Excuse, excuse me, miss. Me, miss. Oh, yeah. ah, yeah. That was crazy. That was the dopest video I was in for sure. Oh my. Stephanie. The dopest video I was in was a video I did with Neo called, um, the song is called um, Forever Now. That's probably my favorite video I ever did, but everybody loves 2 Chains and Kanye West. The birthday song. The birthday song. She was the girl that popped out the cake. It's your birthday. She popped out the cake. That was Stephanie in the cake. It's your birthday. That's the first video. (laughs) All I do. That was Margo. She was like, trust me, you're going to be the star of this video. You're going to jump oh out God. the All fucking right. What about Bill? You, Bill, you're a video vixen as well. What's your name? I am a video <laughs> Yeah, you are. You're definitely a video vixen. You are. Oh, shit. You are. <laughs> All right. All right. So, you got there right. You probably have a great don't video. You, don't have you downplay your shit, okay? Don't you play me. Right. I was a vixen too, shit. <laughs> so I was in um the Brat video. <laughs> Okay. And I played the valet. Yeah, and I, I was the guy driving off the in the rain. Oh, I, I was trying to like, act like that yes. was my real car. She was like, this is your car. I was like, this yeah. This is videos were good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other video I was in, I was in Tupac's Temptation. <laughs> Baby, yep. are you lonely? Hey, I yeah. don't touch you if you only. Hey. If you roll up, tell me. Yeah, see, you got goosebumps. See, there you have it. Yeah, so that video I was in, I was also in um, my video uh, with Foxy and Drew Hill. She's That's a my bad jam. man, Vagina. Mm-hmm. She's a bad man, man Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, I feel like I'm watching MTV. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> that was a good video. That was I can't wait for the, can you come dance? back for your book? I know that. Yes. Okay, real quick. I'm going to come back for my book. My book is called Top Billing. It'll be out April of 2023. And that's the podcast too, right? And that's right? the podcast, Top Billing. I'm on Spotify. I am on Apple Music, YouTube TV. And you shot to the top of the charts on I there. Shot okay. last, I well, shot to number one last week. When we're going nice. to be a guest on your podcast. Yes. Y'all nasty. We, no, <laughs> but we take it down. Yeah, you can take me down. Yeah. I yeah. want y'all to come to LA. We film <laughs> on Hollywood Boulevard. I want nice. y'all to be dressed all sexy and fly like y'all do. And turn up. We're going to yeah. do it in LA. That's Angela, you got to come to the West Side. I'm coming. I'll you, be in LA. Mm-hmm. And yes. we, got, we got all the liquor y'all got. Liquor go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to get five mics. And we're going to have a time, a good time. We're going to have I, a time. And then tomorrow I'm so morning, I'm doing the breakfast. And guess what? By then, I'd have had my trip to Jamaica to. You better not let me down, Miss Pinky Swift. And let me tell you Jamaica. something. You give Laura a couple of drinks, she be in there fucking eating Sundays. Okay. She, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what? Stephanie, am I lying? They think oh, we. Stephanie, they think we lying. Right. They never seen a Sunday competition. Yeah, they be having like these activities. I think it's called Sunday Fun Day. Yeah, they might be getting this. That's the real Sunday fun day right there. Serious. Thank you guys. Y'all. We appreciate thank you so oh much. God. Yeah, so and thank dope. you in advance for putting us in the movie because we're going to gonna hold you to that, okay? Uh, y'all going to be in my movie. And right. one time for Benjamin Button. Holla! Yes. yes, do y'all see this? But when we do the women's version, I'm going to help write that. You I'm ready. That? It's because she nasty. I got this. No, we're going to make these guys so mad. It's not going to be how to be a player. It's going to how she be a player. <laughs> Yes. Be a All right, that's it. Lip service. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>